The second phase of the Seven Crops Project, a joint collaboration between the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, and the Taiwan Technical Mission, is in lockstep with CARICOM's 25 by 2025 initiative, which is aimed at reducing extra regional agri-food imports by 25% by 2025. In their latest feat, the Seven Crops Project handed over inputs as well as battery-operated small machinery to the Agriculture Ministry as part of their efforts to create a more sustainable and appealing agriculture sector. The handing over ceremony also saw the recommencement of seedling production and distribution in an effort to further bridge the gap between supply and demand. Ambassador of the Republic of China Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chien Chen, says these initiatives are aimed at strengthening farmers' capacity to combat the sector's numerous production challenges. We hope to introduce a more effective, efficient and smarter farming. As for the citizens, Taiwan Technical Mission joined with the Ministry of Agriculture to allow farmers to attend citizens at affordable prices. There are seeds of 11,000 watermelon, 10,000 tomatoes, and seeds of honeydew, bell pepper, melon, and cabbage. For this, I would like to comment on Honorable Minister Afri Prosper's initiative and his consideration and care to farmers. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, expressed his gratitude to the government and people of Taiwan for their ongoing assistance in enhancing the overall effectiveness of St. Lucia's agri-food system. Minister Prosper has been a champion of agricultural technology as a means of increasing crop productivity and making the sector more appealing to young people. And we must, must reach out to our farmers to ensure that they buy into those new technologies because we need that new technology for the, for the agricultural sector. We cannot continue to put our farmers through the hard work that they've been doing and getting little in return. So I'm hoping that the tealers and the all the pieces of equipment that we have received from the government and people of Taiwan will be efficiently utilized by the farmers and the farmers will see the success of it, they will benefit from it and we can encourage our farmers to procure those various pieces of equipment to make life much easier for them in the agricultural sector. Minister Prosper reaffirmed his commitment to continue strengthening ties with sector partners and working closely with farmers to support a more productive and user-friendly farming sector that expands in a systematic and rapid manner. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.